Thanks for joining our special live coverage of the policy discussion with citizens. We are waiting for the 16th round of such meetings to begin. The talks will take place once again outside the capital tower, this time in Daegu City. The theme today is Daegu, hub of new advanced industries. In his opening remarks, which are set to commence in a moment, President Yoon suk is expected to pledge to speed up construction of a new airport for the city, which is set to open by 2030. And on top of that, plans to expand a new express rail line will be unveiled to increase connectivity across the city. And with the emergence of new advanced industries such as robotics and future mobility, hopes are high that Daegu will take the lead in those new fields. And to make that happen, the Korean government is believed to be investing 150 million U.S. dollars into robot testing. While we wait for President Yoon's opening remarks to begin, let's also look over some of the sessions that took place in the past few weeks. Now, for the first time in 20 years, the government has decided to lift green belt zones or land protected from development in the regions outside the capital area to boost the regional economy. Over in Ulsan, a city well known for research and development, the president has avowed full support for young scientists and researchers so that they can focus on their studies and research without worrying about tuition and living expenses. So at least 800,000 Korean won, or that's around 600 US dollars per month, will be made available for a master's students and $820 for people doing their PhDs. Now, over in Busan, President Yoon pledged to turn the city into a global business hub. That's in line with the country's ambitions to narrow regional gaps and spur development across areas outside the capital. So President Yoon has entered a room to deliver his opening remarks. We'll come back right afterwards. First of all, we will pledge allegiance. Please face the flag. Salute to the flag. Please take your seats. We would like to begin the policy discussion session with the citizens. First of all, the president will deliver his opening remarks. Well, did you enjoy the long weekend with Samilzol? Today's discussion. We are here at Daegu, which is the hub of the industry of the Republic of Korea, 
and we are going to discuss about the initiatives to a balanced regional growth. Up until today, there were many discussions with the people around many cities around the country, and we came up with a lot of answers, and Daegu is also having a lot of issues that we have to resolve, so I look forward to today's discussion for our wisdom. And here, Gyeongbuk National University, when I was stationed in Daegu, this is where I strolled around quite a lot. So I'm quite familiar to this place, and I'm very glad to be here again. Whenever I come to Daegu, I come to think about the history of the prosperity that this city has been leading. And Daegu has led the industrialization of Korea, encompassing electronics industry of Kumi and steel industry of Pohang, and it spearheaded the import export industry of the Republic of Korea. We may not remember very well, but in 1987, the, the industry that hit the first 10 billion export amount was Daegu textile industry and also Samsung which is one of the world-renowned company it was first originated from this area Daegu and also former President Park Jong-hee who is a revolutionary pioneer he also set out on his journey in this area, Daegu, Gyeongbuk. As such, Daegu and Gyeongbuk area has been at the forefront of the development of the country. However, it is facing a lot of difficulties at the moment, and it has to improve the old transportation infrastructure and innovate the old industrial structure and for Daegu to spearhead its innovation and innovational change, the government will support with our utmost efforts. First thing will be to accelerate the construction of Daegu Gyeongbuk new integrated airport and this was one of the presidential pledge that I have made and also the new airport construction has passed the feasi preliminary feasibility uh, study last year so for it to achieve the goal to open in 2030 we will support this effort and also expand the high-speed tra transportation network. We will construct the express metro rail connecting West Daegu, the new airport, and Uisong, and also we will put the GTS, GTX level railway. And for it to open uh, seamlessly in time with the new airport, the private highway passing through Paigu Mountain, uh, uh, the enhancing the accessibility between Dongdaegu and Dongkuni will also be pursued. And also, the Daegu area, we are going to build on its traditional strengths of machinery and uh, metal and parts industries. And also, with the military base being relocated, we are going to utilize that area. And by doing so, we're revitalizing the industry of Daegu and also uh, uh, making brisk business activities and uh, achieving the balanced regional growth. And also robot, robotics and future mobility will be at the center and so that Daegu can be 
the outpost for AI and robotics. We are doing our utmost. And first of all, we are going to invest 200 billion won into the national robot test field in Talsong, uh, which passed its uh, pre-feasibility study in August. And by doing so, robotics, the future mobility industry, AI, they will be the cutting edge industries that will be uh, fostered in Tegu. And the test field construction will be carried out without any disruption. Also, Tegu Suzong Alpha City will be developed as a national digital innovation zone so that it can play the role of a key R&D base uh, that lead the convergence of manufacturing and digital. And the 800 billion won project that is being pursued, this will also have the government's support. And to attract companies and excellent scholars around the world and around the country, we are going to attract them here. And also, Teku's leading industry will not only be AI, but also many other cutting edge industries. Teku, Western, and the Southern parts will be the hub for uh, mobility and robotics, and the other parts will be for digital and digital hub. And for many other companies to be attracted to Teku, we are going to put bold investments. For Tegu, if Tegu uh, requests for the Tegu Alpha, Suzong, Tegu Alpha City to be a special zone, we are going to support this endeavor. And also, we are going to make this place a success story for educational reform. A few days ago, Daegu was named as the education zone, and from in the future, we are going to um, pursue the uh, special high schools and the excellent universities and research uh, facilities will support these high schools and their educational needs. And also, these places will be integrated with other uh, special industries. So based on such partnerships, we are going to nurture the talents of Tegu, and these talents will develop the Tegu area in return. And also, the Paigong Mountain that was upgraded to National Park, uh, we are going to support and invest uh, in its infrastructure. And also, Dongseongno area will be designated as a uh, special tourist zone so that this place can become a place for tourist attractions. First of all, a by investing 100 billion Korean won in infrastructure to develop Paigong Mountain, this will be a very prestigious national uh, park and mountainous area, so that this could be leading the tourism industry of Daegu. And also, Dongseongno area, which is the center of the downtown Daegu, it will be designated as the first special tourist zone so that it could be crowded with young people and foreigners. Dongseongno will be where uh, the youth can perform their musical performances, and this will be formed as a youth cultural area, and also the 
modern historical streets and other roads will be uh, changed into a place where people can gather so that Dongsongro area would be a place where the citizens of Daegu can enjoy uh, their cultural activities and uh, they could enjoy their leisure time and also attract many uh, foreigners to this area. And we will also grow Daegu into a culture and arts hub. Today, industry has to go hand in hand with culture. And in UNESCO, by UNESCO, in 2017, it was designated as the innovative cultural city. And moreover, Daegu is home to many artists like Lee Jung-seok and many writers, famous writers of Korea. And we can feel their artistic spirit in this area. And nevertheless, we do not have a an appropriate place where people can gather. So during my presidential campaign, I pledged to build the National Musical Complex and National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, which would be pursued in earnest. And also the um, at the Seomun Market vicinity, the um, Museum for Contemporary History will be established so that the spirit of our forefathers would be upheld and would be remembered. And also, one of the inconveniences of Daegu citizens would be the odor problem uh, from the dying industrial complexes, landfill, landfills, and sewage treatment plants. So we are going to resolve this issue. In particular, the western part uh, is really having many uh, predicaments because of these odor coming from the dying uh, industrial complexes. So by uh, changing the, the pipes and the sewage facility, the odor would be alleviated uh, and the water pollution would also be alleviated. And also we are going to support the uh, medium to long term plan to resolve these issues. And also, we are we are at the moment uh, pursuing the medical school quota uh, increase, and in Tegu area, this will continue. The Gyeongbuk National University, Yongnam University, Gyeongbuk University, and Daegu Catholic University, they are the prestigious regional medical schools. And we will significantly expand facility investment and increase the number of med school students quota of these uh, medical schools. And also, we are going to significantly expand the vacant positions for local talent pool to ensure that the local area can enjoy high quality medical services. And also, the facility investment will also take place and make sure that the enhancements could be made and be felt by the people. I understand that we have many people from all walks of life coming here t today, so uh, we are going to listen to your opinions and uh, we'll reflect it in our policies. Thank you. That was our live coverage of President Yoon Suk-yeol's opening remark ahead of the country's 16th policy discussion with citizens. Under the theme of Daegu, hub of new advanced industries. We'll bring you more details on the discussion in our upcoming newscast at 2 p.m. Korea time. Thanks for watching.